I went through all the rooms and looking at all these people that I haven't seen for so, and I, I got reconnected with my furniture and my artwork. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one! <laughs> uh, this, is, this is great, you know. Uh, before, you know, I wanna, let, let's celebrate the birthday today of a man who's got it all. Personality, I mean personality plus everybody loves this guy. <sighs> Men, women, when he walks into a room he just lights it up. So happy birthday, Johnny. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Johnny. <laughs> well, listen. I see that some of you are wearing hearing gates. I know Pete's a little sensitive to that. So I've asked my friend David Calvo to come up and help me. He's very good at sign language. Come on up here. Let's give him a big hand. Sasha is suffering from early dementia. I think Sasha is suffering from early dementia. She confused her son's birthday with her father's. She confused her son's birthday with her father's. All right, that's very annoying. Take a seat. They can hear me. Mind. I mean, a lot of you guys grew up with Johnny Carson, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do my Johnny Carson impersonation. Well, uh, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me just tell you that I read in the newspaper today that Pete Pinatas, a dentist from Denver, has turned 90 years old. You ready for this, big? Pete Pinatas is so old. How old is he? Oh, great. <laughs> Pete McGonagall, let's try that again. Pete McGonagall is so old. How old is he? That the Dead Sea was still sick when he was born. <laughs> Pete McGonagall is so old. How old is he? That when he was growing up and he'd look at what the rainbow was black and white. <laughs> Pete McGonagall is so old. That the only single digit handicap he'll ever have is his social security number. <laughs> Three. Okay, Johnny's dead. Um, <laughs> we have, uh, let's see, I have a lot of nicknames for Pete Doc, DP, my favorite is D the P. But the one that I have a problem with is Painless Pete. I call bullshit on that. Kathy, we're, Kathy is a uh, nurse nurse. Where's Kathy? Kathy! Kathy! Back me up on this, okay? I swear so, to God. I'm, I'm not even married to Stacey yet, and I'm in the waiting room, right? And I'm sitting there, and the first patient comes out like this. <laughs> Second patient comes out like this. And then the third patient comes out, and she's all happy. I go, oh, you must be Dr. Jim's patient. <laughs> so, so anyway, so I, I, I go into the room, and Pete's dressed in his street clothes. No mask, no nothing. You know, just like they did in the 1700s. <laughs> and he starts prowling around in my mouth. I feel like a dog at a kennel. And uh, he finally found a cavity. So I said, so Pete takes his, you know, drill out from Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, he didn't believe in x-rays. So he starts drilling my tooth. I'm like, Pete, aren't you going to put some Novocaine in there? He goes, you don't need it. I said, well, you probably don't need to practice dentistry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else is that? <laughs> we love you, Bob! Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, you know, Pete always cares about his appearance, right? You know this. So one time he asked Phoebe, who is one of the best hairstylists in town, if he would take the gray out of his hair. Well, that experiment went terribly wrong, and his hair turned orange. So people write, people start referring to him as Dentist Rotman. 
Uh, Cheryl, where are you? Did you drive with this guy over here? Did he? Did you? Did you? Yeah, I didn't know. Pete is the worst driver <laughs> in the it's world, true. and I equate it to his golf game. He can't drive a ball in a fairway, and he can't drive a car on the freeway. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. His, all right, this is his favorite line. He always uses it. I was getting really tired of it. But every time we played golf with two people that we didn't know, he would uh, hit a bad shot, and he goes, "That's my son-in-law shot." And everybody would say, so what, what's a son-in-law shot? And he says, not quite what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm reduced, right now I'm reduced to a mulligan. <laughs> and since Pete takes a lot of mulligans, I know he'll only be thinking. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, Pete's had a rough life. He suffered through the Great Depression of 29, and every time he looks at his scorecard. <laughs> I got that call. Okay, thank you. All right, you're all sincerity. Pete, I love you. You've been getting emotional. You've been like a father to me, a best friend. I mean, uh, the whole Mignotis clan. You, like, when I divorced the door, well, when she divorced you. <laughs> That's so real. That's so real. <laughs> The whole Mignotis clan, I mean, we've had so many good times playing golf with your boys, Nikki and Billy, and I consider Stubba Mignotis brother too, where are you Stubba? And Uncle Bill, and no, I couldn't speak it. Hey, I'm running this, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, played with Dr. Bill and Dr. Jim, had the best times of our lives. A lot of your friends and family, I mean, we, we played with everybody, right? And, and it's been so special because you, and Cheryl and Mama Verge and Nick and Billy and Sasha and Danny and the two outlaws, my favorite two outlaws, Jennifer and Archie. Really, I can't say enough. You guys always make me feel welcome, so thank you. DP, I love you. I think about you more than you know, and have a great, happy 90th birthday. Great job, Stretchy. I would have been more embarrassed, but we're ex-brother-in-laws, so it wasn't that bad.